Hey everyone, it's Deanna with Paperback Daydreamer. Um, yeah, it's Thursday when I'm recording this. I will be posting it tomorrow on Friday um, because I am way behind in my reading books. Really, really far behind right now with reading the books. Um, so basically, this past week has been a little crazy in my life. Between we have we had ugh, my weanling presentation that I worked on last weekend. It was about weanling nutrition, and I had to work on that last weekend, so I didn't get a lot of reading done, plus all the other stuff that was going on. Um, and then on top of that, I had my presentation on Wednesday, so I was preparing for that. I have a test tomorrow on Friday, um, as well as a homework assignment due, and I'm way behind on reading. However, I'm taking next week off of reading. Well, not really reading, but writing reviews. So I will be reading throughout the week of Thanksgiving, but I will not be posting any of my reviews because um, I'm trying to get hopefully caught up with some things that I really need to be reading and reviewing um, as well as get a little bit ahead. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit ahead um, so that I'm not as stressed out the past, the next, well, the past two, the next two weeks of the semester because those are the last two weeks before final, finals. Wow, I'm so out of it. I've got so much stuff going on right now, you guys. I'm a little scatterbrained, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so a couple things that are going on in my life right now that are making it a little stressful slash exciting and scary all at the same time is um, I plan, I'm planning on doing my master's now. I thought that I was just going to get my bachelor's degree and then leave and be done with it done with school, been in school for way too long, but looking at jobs now um, and seeing kind of the people that they're trying to hire, a lot of them are requiring master's degrees or they say master's degree preferred. Um, so I know that will help me step up on the at least resume side of things. We all know that resumes are the first things most employers see. And if you have a really good resume, then you'll most likely get a face-to-face -face interview. Um, so basically this job came job came available I found out about it on Tuesday and that's mainly what's been taking my time um, because it requires a cover letter basic a resume basic all jobs normally require those two it requires five references instead of just three it requires five reference forms filled out by five different professional references so I've had to email five different professional references, references of mine to have them fill out this form, as well as um, copies of all of my transcripts. Well, I've been to three different colleges, so that entails me getting my unofficial transcripts sent from other colleges. Um, I've gotten two of them so far. K-State, I could print it out online. Highland, thank God I found out I could print that one out online. But Emporia State University does not let you print your unofficial transcripts out online. You have to order them, and it's supposed to be being faxed to me. But all of this stuff is due by the 28th of November. Isn't that exciting, everyone? So, yes. Um, and I'm going to be gone all next week. It's fun. Um, but the job sounds really interesting. I don't think I'm going to get it, but at least I'm, I'm going to try for it. But basically, it's um, at Kansas State Research and Extension, and um, basically, you'll be an extension agent in a certain area, and the one that I'm applying for is um, for the Livestock Production and Natural Resources agent, and basically, if anyone calls the agent, the extension agent office, and they ask something about any kind of livestock questions... It would be given to me as well as any kind of natural resources. So I have the livestock background. I do not have the natural resources background, but I'm willing to learn if I get the job. That's option one. If I get the job, then I'd start working there at the end of the semester when I'm done with college. And then they offer tuition assistance to their employees to get their master's degree. So that's how I get my master's degree that way. Then option two which I've decided I've narrowed it down to two. So Marcella out there, thanks for listening to my three options, but I'm definitely going to go with option two. Um, if I don't get the job, then I will apply to get back into K-State next semester as a 
non-degree seeking student and I will basically be able to take a few more classes that I really wanted to take. So I can take advanced groundwork, which is we're doing weanling groundwork where, you know, we're training the weanlings that I've told you guys about. The advanced groundwork is with older horses. Um, they're two-year-olds that we'll be working with um, to get them ready to be ridden. Um, so I'm going to definitely take that and then a whole bunch more nutrition modules um, for in that in the spring it's mainly cattle so like feedlot nutrition dairy nutrition um stuff like that so anyways that's that's one part of the second option so i do that next semester is take more classes but not be obviously going for a degree i'd just be able to take some classes that i really really wanted to take and i hadn't been able to then i would apply like crazy for internships and i would try to get an internship in summer of 2012 and then I would get into the master's program in the fall. This is all dependent on if I can find a major professor who will take me under their wing and give me the opportunity to get a master's degree. So basically, you do apply for a master's degree and they can accept you in without having a major professor in mind. But if you have a major professor in mind that you've already talked to, then that professor will be able to find, you know, see your application and be like, oh, I've already talked to this person. I think they'd be really good. Let's go ahead and let them into the master's program. Um, and then from there, there's two different master's program options, but I would be going for my master's in agriculture instead of my master's in science. Um, if I did my master's in science, I would be able to go on and do a PhD program. If you do the master's in agriculture, you can't, and that's okay with me. So I'm definitely not staying in school for another four years or more than that after my master's. So, yeah. Then that means that next fall, 2012, I would start my master's program. And that would go on for about a year and a half to two years. Um, and then I would get kicked out into the real world of jobs and such. And my dad said he thought it was a really good idea. And he's one of those people that's really big on research and all that stuff. Um, and he's more level-headed sometimes than my mom and I. We have a tendency to just, like, jump at an opportunity. We don't think about it. Um, and so it made me feel really good that I talked to him and he said that it sounds like a good idea. So, basically, it's either the job and then the master's program or a little bit more undergrad school, an internship, and then a master's degree. And all of this would be helping out with my long-term trying to find a job. So that's what's going on right now with me. Sorry if I completely boarded you guys to death, but it's been kind of stressful this past week and I need to start getting some things in motion if, yeah, it's, oh, it's okay. It'll all be okay in the end. As Marcella said, everything will fall into place where it needs to fall into place. Um, which is very true. I just have to let things happen as they need to happen. So anyways, now book wise, obviously, like I told you guys, I didn't read very much this last week. Um, of course my Hades review went up on Monday and I cannot believe the cliffhanger she left us with. Oh, I'm so mad about that, especially cause I don't think the next book's going to be released until August of 2012. Oh, so, Oh, I hate when authors leave off at cliffhangers if you're a good enough author you don't need to leave a cliffhanger that's what i say about that um anyways it's kind of frustrating i mean it's a great series love it i will definitely be reading the next book but still you don't have to it was so perfect so perfect up until like literally the last sentence of the epilogue so you get through the whole book you start reading the epilogue. You're like, oh, it's such a happy ending. Oh, this is so great. I love this. I love this. And then the last sentence. And you're like, do you really just leave us with that? And then there's not even a little part. You know how most it will give you like a snippet to the next book? No, no, no. You're just stuck with the last sentence. That's the last thing you get to read about Hades and that lovely series. Anyways. That's my venting about the series. So anyways, um, so my lovely partner in crime with the Shadow Wrangler series is being very patient with me right now. And I can't believe she is, but I really appreciate it. But um, so I'm still reading Jace. 
um, the third book in the series that Christy and I will be reviewing at the end of November. Um, and I'm still not finished with it. But I'm hoping to finish it tonight, even though I should probably be studying for my test tomorrow. But it doesn't matter because I really want to finish this and start the review. Since Christy finished it and started the review on Monday and has been sitting in my inbox staring me down this entire week. Um, so yeah, should be finishing this tonight and I will be writing Christy back and hopefully we can get that review done in the next couple of days um, so that we can both have happy Thanksgivings and not have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, that's literally the only thing I've been reading when I've been able to read this week between applying for the job and working on some schoolwork. Um, so again, next week, not planning on any reviews, um, at all. Um, I'm hoping to really catch up on some reading, um, and be able to kind of start getting ahead in my reviews before the end of the school year, because as soon as we come back from Thanksgiving break, which is the 28th of Monday, we have two weeks and then finals, and then I'm done. And literally I have two weeks before I graduate because we graduate the Saturday before finals week which is kind of stupid, but that's what they do in the fall anyways. So yeah, that's exciting. Uh, two weeks. And then I graduate. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, anyways, so sorry, this was a little long winded and scatterbrained because I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I've got so many things going through my head. I still need to pack for my trip this weekend. I still need to study for my test. I still need to do my homework assignment for livestock and meat evaluation. Um, I need to read this book. I haven't checked your guys' blogs for who knows how long. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on in my brain. Um, oh, and the other thing, uh, lovely news this week, and then I'm gonna shut up and let you guys go because this is already getting to be 12 minutes. So I took my dog into the vet yesterday just for his you know, annual checkup and shots and all that fun stuff because he's going to the doggy daycare while I'm gone over the week break and they have to have his shots updated. Um, so we go in there and the vet's doing the physical and feels some lumps on his chest, which is right between his front legs, basically on his chest. Um, and so I had her take samples of them to tell, uh, you know, figure out what it is. And it's benign fatty tumors. Um, so it's not cancerous, which is nice. Um, but she said that normally they only happen in labs. And my dog is a half husky, half blue healer. Um, but he's got a lot of issues because I don't, they just didn't breed them right. I think it might have been an accidental breed because he's got really bad legs. And um, yeah, now he's got these tumors. Um, and I guess... A lot of times with the fatty tumors, they will keep growing, but again, they're not cancerous, but sometimes they'll get so big that they start bothering the animals to walk and stuff. And then at that time they would do surgery and remove them, um, so that it wasn't affecting them. So now I have to watch these tumors and keep filling them and make sure they're not getting too big too fast. Um, yeah, so that was exciting news. Um, but at least it's not cancerous. I keep saying that. He's five. Um, so he's kind of getting up there in age. But still, I mean, dogs normally live at least 10 to 10 to 13 years is a good, pretty good lifespan for a dog. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so that's been my week. It's not like something really horrible has happened. It's just been like one thing after another after another. And I'm like, seriously, I just need a break. And then I've kind of put this next week's stress on myself with the whole going to all my friends' houses and then family because I'm not going to have like really any downtime except for maybe Wednesday before we leave for Kansas City. So, and now I'm babbling really, really bad. So I'm going to shut up and sorry that you guys had to listen to almost 15 minutes of me babbling. Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, I probably won't talk to anyone very much through Twitter or blogs um, while I'm traveling. It's kind of hard to keep up with everyone when I can only use my phone, but I'll try my hardest. Um, and I'm planning Wednesday 
to take the majority of the day of um, catching up on everyone's blogs because I really won't have anything to do but sit around the house and either read or blog hop. So I'll do the blog hopping so I can read the rest of the week and not feel really guilty about the fact that I haven't talked to some of you for a couple weeks. Um, so anyways, that's my plan. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I will definitely talk to you guys sooner, hopefully, than later. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to anyone before Thanksgiving, um, don't eat too much, but definitely eat enough to feel satisfied with your lovely turkey and desserts, um, cause that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I will definitely talk to everyone Monday the 28th at the latest. So anyways, have a good weekend. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> See ya.